How about a little honey on your morning muffin? That's right, we have brunch here at GLBT America with Scott Withers and mm, so sweet honey Labrador. Hey there, brunchers. Today's guests, Lori Petty, Antonio Rufino, Troy Penn, and Jim DeOracio. We're going to yeah. chat with him live on brunch coming up next. Isn't he hot? Let me ask Leslie. You Blair. are hot. Hola, hola. Don't go anywhere. Email us, brunchacutelevision.com. We'll be right back. Mwah. Guys, how are you? Welcome back to Brunch. I'm Scotty Withers. We're live in West Hollywood. Lori Petty rocks. Oh my gosh, I love her for a lot of reasons, but I have someone else really cool that I love also. I've got a huge crush on. He doesn't know it, don't tell him. Antonio, how are you? Pretty good, how about yourself? Good for, I got you some water. It's good to see you. Have a seat, nice Antonio. You. you know, I was on your website last night and I was like going through and it was, it was very exciting because you have cool. some really nice pictures on there. Thank you. Has anyone told you that you're like really attractive? No, never. Never? No. No. Well, uh, they should have. <clears throat> but, well, to give you, in case you have okay. never, you've got to recognize him because uh, he does a lot. Not only acting, but producing, and I'm sure some modeling in there as well. Most people would recognize you from Port Arthur. <laughs> Actually, Port Charles. Port Charles. <laughs> I don't watch soaps. My grandma watches the stories. She calls them the stories. Yeah. Port Charles. Yes, sir. Um, what, what's your role on that? Well, actually, I did a couple. Um, I had a recurring role. Um, I played a, a variety of different characters. One of them was a car racer, mm -hmm. and I was a foreign college student. I can see that. And that works. <laughs> yeah. I, I, with the leather coat face. and everything, it works. <laughs> and yeah, I just went on and did some other stuff now. You know, I've done a couple. Uh, you did Caroline in the City, too. Correct, yes. I, I love that show. Vito the Bartender. Do they stereotype you in that? Well, I guess so, if you want to say I was going to say. <laughs> okay, and you've also been in one of my favorite shows. Uh, which is? CSI Miami. Yeah, that was a twisted character. What did you play in CSI? I don't remember that. I, didn't, I haven't seen every episode, obviously. Um, it was a trans... How would you say trans, it? Was it a transsexual? Did you play a transsexual role? Right, yeah, it was You were a transsexual? Twisted. It was edgy. Really? This is used the word edgy. Wait a minute, were you... I think I did see that episode. Were you one of the killers? Um, no, I get killed. You get killed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how was that? Well, you've played several gay or gender-issued characters. Yes, Do you, are you ever afraid of being stereotyped as the guy that plays the gay role? No, actually, um, the way I look at it as an artist, I have to be an open-minded book and not, be, not fall into the stereotype or, or, or kind of like say, for example, uh, pursuing acting, right? If mm -hmm. I want to get open doors for myself and my career, I have to be able to embody other characters. Absolutely. Without having that in mind that I make it stereotype. Well, how do you do the research? I mean, do you go to West Hollywood and hang out at the Abbey, or do you go to one of the, uh, to one of the gay gyms? Or how do, I mean, or do you have friends that you rely on and, and pull a from A variety them? of different things. A variety of different things from doing the research through friends, um, going to different public places like you mentioned, mm -hmm. which I did that in my film, or that I showed Jesus. Yeah, we want to talk about that too. <laughs> That's very cool. Um, but you're from Houston. Yes, sir. Born and raised in and Houston, Texas. And your family's still there? My family's still there. Um, I'm very fortunate that I get to go back once a year. Yeah, Houston's a nice town. It gets it a little is. steamy. Very hot. Very is everybody hot. okay? Your family okay from the... the the Katrina and the Rita and yes. the hurricane issues. Thank God, yes, absolutely. Oh, good, good, because it was, you know, it was scary there for a moment, for a few days with Houston after what happened absolutely. in New Orleans. Very devastating. Oh, good, good, good. Well, let's talk about the movie. Well, you've got a couple movies. Yes. But let's talk about, and you're gonna have to help me with the title, El Derecho de Jesus. You got it. Now, hey, pronunciation I, was good. Thank you. I, my high school Spanish comes in handy. Okay. Now, does what does El Derecho mean? Because I don't understand. I, I was trying. Is it like the boss of Jesus? El Derecho would be the right. The right of Jesus. The right of Jesus. Of, of Jesus. Jesus yeah. What does that mean? How does that play into the movie? Um, okay, basically El Derecho de Jesus, it's about a Mexican-American college student. Is that played by you? That's played by me. Hmm. And um, it's, it's basically the story takes place in, in it's the true story of Jesus Galindo, which he's the writer, director, producer. And um, it's about how he's trying to accept himself 
within him, his sexuality. So it's about it is about a gay community. It, it's it, about a gay guy in the gay community, yes. especially the Latino community. Because we all know that being raised Latino, because I myself I'm Latino. Um, I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we all know that. Um, being Latin, raised in America, our, our traditions are very close-minded, mm -hmm. and we have to have high morals, which I'm not saying I don't have high morals right. myself, but we do have to, you know, be very family-oriented, and mm -hmm. when you talk about sexuality, that's right. something that, And you for, know, for gay Latino men, there's also the machi machismo, machismo factor yes. there. Well, I, we actually have a clip of it. Oh, of the cool, movie. So let's go okay. ahead and take a look at El Derecho de Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus, what happened to you? Do you really think you're being fair with me? So why'd you let him do that to you? <laughs> That's what they all say. You ought to come by more often. I don't know, because I feel like I'm coming down with the flu. Actually, I was going to say thank you. I gotta go. Why are you wasting my time? What about you, Jesus? Any luck? It's not to change things, right? You should have done that a long time ago. I think you need to be honest with yourself. <laughs> I've been here running to tell me. Why did you come? Steamy, Antonio. Like the scene without the shirt. Very nice. I want to ask you though, when when you when you told your family that you were doing this movie and that you'd be playing a gay character role, how did they react? Well, my mom has always known that I've I've always liked acting, and she was like, "Oh well, if it's a great character for you and it's going to help you in your career, do it." Because she so knows no problems or anything. No problems at all. No whatsoever. You've, you've also you're producing or have produced a movie called the uh, Redefining Normal. That's in the works. It's called Redefining Normal. I'm going to be uh, co-producing and co-starting in it as wow. Orlando Madrid. And what, what is that movie about? What is the, the plot it's, of that? It's also based on a true story. It's the life story of the writer Tony Bruce. Mm -hmm. um, it, that's a twist to that film because when he was born, he was a, uh, basically his mother put him up in a trash bag oh, and put God. him in the first house that she approached and just gave just him up. Just left him. Just left him. Oh, that's so it's finding himself trying to be comfortable under his own skin. You take on a lot of, uh, of roles <clears throat> in, in movies that have some really deep emotional impact because there's some, let's face it, there's some actors in Hollywood that couldn't act themselves out of a paper bag, but they just look pretty. <laughs> but you actually take on some roles with some serious emotion. Well, I think that you know, I've been doing this for a while and I really like a challenge. I like challenges as an actor and I think that the most amazing stories come from independent films. Do you prefer movies over TV? Because there's, it's different. The way it's done, the way it's made, it's right. a completely different process. Which do you prefer to act in? Well, I definitely like films, but mm -hmm. I, I'm never going to close doors on, a, on, on, TV? A, on, a, on TV or even a musical as an you artist. You sing too? I, I can hold no it. No way! I I'm not going to sing, sing right now. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. No. Listen, the audience wants you to sing. <laughs> no, no. I, I, At least one line. Oh, well, maybe you'll come back and sing some I'll other come time. Back, yes. Okay, good. I'll come back when I'm prepared. Try to get you to sing. Okay, but we, if you want to learn more about Antonio, you can go to your website. Yes. Let's you plop can. that up real quick. Oh, actually. Antonio Rufino.com. Rufino so, yeah, there we go. There you go. And don't forget Rufino's with one F. With one F. And oh. not only on your website do you have pictures of yourself and your bio and some articles, but there's some clips of your work yes, that they sir. can see because you've done a lot of things. What else are some of the clips they can see there? Uh, they'll be able to see some of my stuff from Carolina in the City, Port Charles, um, some of the Spanish projects that I've done too. Very, oh, commercials you, so you do actually bilingual. So I'm very Man, you're like a quadruple threat. Markets. Very cool. Yeah. Well, it's so nice seeing you. Nice so meeting you. Scott. I know. I'm Hola. so hard. Hey, How this is you? honey. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Hey, Isn't he 
just... He is. I'm sorry yummy. about my towel, but <laughs> I'm going to have my little hair trimmed. Oh, awesome. Oh, you didn't, I didn't know that. Awesome. So I hear you sing. Oh. You're going to come back and sing for us sometime. We, yes. We've guilted him into it. Yeah, well, maybe you can help Scott, because Scott's got a little how-to that he's going to do. <gasps> yeah. I'm going to get my hair. Right I'm getting yeah, ready for sure. hair trim. I love to stick around. So my dear friend Troy is going to do that, but you guys are going to go outside, do a little yes. how-to, and we will be back with more brunch shortly. So don't go anywhere. Email us, brunch at qtelevision.com. You like my little turban? I love it. <laughs> I, I, my, one of my favorite movies is Postcards from the Edge. You know, when If I only hey. had a brain. Hey! Welcome back to Brunch. I'm Scotty Withers, live in Hollywood. And look who I made stay with me. He doesn't know he's staying all day. Antonio, thank you for sticking with us. Oh, my pleasure. This Every day we do a segment called How To. Okay. And to, uh, How To with Honey and Scott. Honey is getting her hair Finally, she's getting her roots fixed. I'm sure she's been Finally. hot. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, I don't know. Um, but, so, Antonio's staying to help us today with today's little um, how-to segment, which is something so easy that if I can do it, you can do it. And it's all about decorating. Cool. I love decorating. decorating. And what we, we all, gay guys love plants, but sometimes these orange pots are just nasty, ugly eyesores. So we've come up with a way that we can teach you how to decorate it and make it a little fancy and give it a little gay flair. So we went out and we just got a pot. I'm sorry, someone's calling me. I don't know who that is. Anyways. Wait, did you make this? Well, yes, we started it. This yeah. is just a pot. And all you need, you can get it at a store, any kind of home gardening store, Homo Depot, something awesome. to that effect. It's like two or three dollars. Oh, but wow. it's just that ugly plain terracotta. So then what you also need is some of this. And this is called joint compound. It's like plaster that you can use in the bathroom for Is it pasta. eatable? Can you eat this? You cannot eat it. No, no. no. Do you want to try it? No, yeah, no, it's nasty. It <laughs> but it comes in all colors. We just got the generic kind of khaki white color. Um, and then we got went and got some of these river stones, glass stones. You can buy these anywhere real cheap. You can substitute these. They now, feel you really can get, cool, too. Aren't they cool? They're yeah. nice and smooth. We like smooth things, don't we? Yeah. Anyways, um, you can get them at the dollar store. You can get them uh, anywhere. You can buy them in big bags. Or the cool thing is if you have something special like stones or something like that that you got at the beach or the river or something, you can use those. So what you do is you just take the pot and you put some of this junk on it like this and smooth it out. And how easy is this? Yeah, I think it's very easy. And then you just plop them in and you let it dry. You need to be a little bit smoother with it. I'm not good at, at getting this off. But and then you just make different decals. And when, when it dries, like it has here, you can then go back in with some paint and you can paint that area any color you want. Or if Bobby Trendy was here, he'd throw glitter on it because the man throws glitter on everything. Oh, so he can, does? Oh my God, the boy just, he walks with glitter bottles. You can make different designs with the different sizes. You can also do it on picture frames with smaller little That's squares nice. or rectangles. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and like that. Could you grab nice. that one? This is one we did earlier. We haven't painted yet, and you just put the little bedazzles really around cool. it. Cool. It's art. It's expressing yourself. And it's yeah. easy to do. It's isn't it? Isn't it? It's yeah. very simple it to do. It's very but simple to do. Now, Antonio, for yes, guys like sir. me uh -huh. that are you know hair challenged, we like going out. And we like to be fancy too. Oh so really? You can okay. do this on pots, but you can also do this on your head. So we're gonna do that. Antonio, put some on my head. Uh -huh. <sighs> We're gonna make it a little design, like for the white okay, party. Are you guys ready for this? Just a little bit. Not that's a lot. The white party's coming up, and you want to look festive, so you can put a little bit on the top of your head like that and spread it out nice and. How does it feel? Does it oh, feel nice and it cool? It actually feels good. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of nice. Oh my God. And then it'll peel off later, and then you can make a design with the different stones or anything else. If you have little shells or. Let's see, what am I gonna how's do it, here? I, make some. In. Don't spell any nasty words. <laughs> Oh, Don't no. spell I'm any nasty go. words. I'm not going to go that route. <laughs> but it, it makes a little turban. So for people oh, like yeah. me that don't have hair, you can just decorate your head like this. You just have to be cool. careful that you get the non-toxic kind so it doesn't hurt any. Don't get any in your eyes or your mouth. You can, what are you making up there, Antonio? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess But it'll be festive. To... You could get all the different stones in the rainbow colors and make a nice little rainbow thing. You could use beads. You could use anything you wanted to just dress up yourself. How does it feel so far? Stuff. It actually is, it feels nice. How's it turning out up there? Have you ever know. have you ever put stones on someone's head before? No, never. No. It's my first time. It's your first time. See, <laughs> like see they what say, happens. there's always a first there's time. There's always for... a first time for everything. <laughs> yeah. First experience it, here. It, it it seems to be sticking well. It's yeah. Dry. I just hope it comes off later this afternoon. So there we go. yeah, 
Yeah. So that's something, but then you just need to be very careful that you get non-toxic because you don't want to get anything that's going to cause you a rash or anything like that. Well, right. thank you, Antonio, for helping me with my very first solo. Oh, my pleasure. How does it look? It looks good. If it looks good. I only my, had a brain. My expression for today. My creative thank brain. you, Antonio. Come back anytime. That's thank it for the how-to today. We're going to check back in with Honey in a little bit to see how her hair's turned out. I hope the gray's gone. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Brunch live on the Q Television Network. Mwah. We love you. Does it look nice? I like it. It feels good. It dries up. It dries up.